Welcome back. This is my greenhouse. I started a project earlier this summer by planting vegetables in raised beds and in cinder blocks to see how it would work and if it did work. And it did. Here is my tomato plant. As you can see, there's a bright red tomato right there and there's more green ones. They will be changing soon. So it did grow and it grew in a cinder block as you can see. I also had some kale planted and it is right here and as you can see it was very fruitful. We have been using it throughout the summer in our salads and it is very good. So this also grew in a raised bed. And over here I had some carrots planted in cinder blocks and as you can probably see in this one right here, there are some carrots right there. They're coming up. I don't know if there's not enough room in the soil, but I'm not going to pull it yet. I will pull it shortly. So they have grown in these cinder blocks. Here are some purple carrots that I planted. So I will see. I'm not going to harvest them yet, but maybe in a few more weeks I will. And here I have another tomato plant that's growing, also in a cinder block. So the project did work out. It was successful. Um, here I actually have some borage that I planted and it's growing a little smaller than it would outdoors. So, but it is still growing and it, you can see it will have purple flowers, nice beautiful purple flowers. So, and we were able to harvest multiple pickles from the pickle plant that I had. It is slowly dying away now. But I think there is still some right there, as you can see. So the garden was successful and it shows that you can actually grow a tomato plant in a cinder block, as you can see, I have multiple tomatoes on this plant. And there's a red one right there, which I will be eating today. I also have some purslane that has planted itself right there in my greenhouse next to the carrots and the tomatoes. So it is right there. I have a separate video on the benefits of this herb slash weed. Here we have the borage. As you can see the beautiful purple flowers on it. It actually bloomed since I last recorded the other video. So I wanted to catch this for you. And it is a little bit smaller than it would have grown in my traditional garden. But it still has grown and it has flowered. So, and these flowers are edible. And as always, thank you for watching. Good day and good health.